3501 Woodley. Very nice, quiet street, low traffic. All the houses have a similar look to our brick house right here. But you can see the roof pretty well from here. I don't know about on camera, but I can see it well. Slate roof actually looks in great condition. Like I said, houses are similar on the street and well kept. Ours actually might have a little bit uh, nicer, more character to it. Quiet, nice neighborhood. This side of yard, there's not much. But if you notice, this right here, this window, these three, at some point that was an open porch. I'll show you an example from the neighbor's house. Used to be open like this, and now it's enclosed, which can add extra square footage for maybe a full bathroom that it needs. Driveway needs a little bit of work. Siding, I don't see any kind of cracking in the brick. All looks good. Medium size yard, medium good size, although the two car garage takes up most of it. Which it looks like the door needs some work. Um, the roof slate as well as the house, but it's also in good condition it looks like. Like I said, there's not much of a side yard over here, but you can see the rest of the brick looks great. This right here where you see these windows is also some type of a windowed in porch, which I think is also a great addition of square footage. I think it could be turned into something or open the kitchen up. It's a back exit to the kitchen. Walkway is in decent shape. Front stoop needs a little bit of work. It's cracking in many places, but it's overall pretty sturdy. I'm gonna do living room, dining, and then kitchen all at once. So you can, if you want to step out on the front porch, that'd be perfect. And then once you see me go up, you can come back in here. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Right here, cool. We got all the way up. You're good. I might point the camera back this way, but I'm not going to zoom in on y'all or anything. Alright, living area. Upstairs. I'm just talking to myself, by the way. <laughs> nice big open living space. At some point, it looks like the plumbing was replaced here. Some of it. There's PVC. Copper and galvanized that I see. Kitchen straight back. Dining room on this side. And then this little sunroom addition off of the living room is what I was showing you from the outside. Definitely big enough to turn into a nice big full bath or maybe just open up as a, more of a living room. I don't know if you can open it up with these brick walls being an addition. Or, I'm not sure. Definitely could knock some of these walls out to make it an open floor plan. Right now you got the dining room over here. No light in here, but it's all plaster, but it is in pretty good shape. All wooden windows on this floor. Um, upstairs has new vinyl. 
Now into the kitchen. It's a decent size, pretty good size kitchen. Also a door that goes into the dining room. It's just blocked by the fridge right now. Cabinets are no good, needs new everything in here. Basement access. And then this is the little uh, sun porch off the back, which again, it's it's completely enclosed. I think it can be turned into some more square footage of the house. Now the only spot I see any kind of damage in the roof or inside water damage is here, here, and so this is off the, uh, above this is a um, standing deck you can stand on through that comes out of one of the bedrooms. So this is a nice big area. Go to the basement first, you guys can hang in here, because when I come back up I'll just go straight that way. Basement, definitely tall enough to finish. Right now it's all paneling. Drain down here, no sump pump. So we'll start over with uh, this back room. Could be a bedroom, big bedroom, or a big man cave. Nice big area. Down here it actually feels like drywall. Versus upstairs, it was all plaster. Yeah, I believe it is drywall down here. That, I just noticed. I don't know if you can tell that easily. I'll take a picture of it, but it looks like some either termite damage or rotting. But that's really all I see any kind of like structural damage. Electric panels over here, the wiring looks fine. It's a 100 amp panel. Count these windows while I'm down here. One, two. Three. Four. That's a new one actually. Five. Five total windows down here. Twenty upstairs that need to be replaced. So besides this big bedroom, here's the utility. Well, there's two kind of utility rooms back here. This could be another bedroom. Nice big area or decent size. Closets over here. Closets there. Closet there. All wood paneling as you see. Furnace is right here. Looks pretty old and dusty, but all the copper's still there. And the hot water heater looks in pretty good shape. Looks like all copper coming off of it, but like I said, I did see some galvanized piping throughout the house. Got my electric panel, furnace, hot water heater. Um, there is no sump pump down here, and there's one more room that's a full bath with a slop sink. Like I said, here's some of the galvanized plumbing. Stand up shower, not in the best shape. And the toilet and the sink. Which it looks like, um... This is galvanized all the way through here. Actually copper coming through the, the sink, so it's not all galvanized, just some spots. Um, trying to see some of these joists here, make sure there's no more rotting, which I don't see. A lot of it's covered in paneling. Here I see some moisture, not really termite damage or rotting, but definitely some moisture. Possibly some 
issues back in there. Doesn't look too bad or stand out that obviously. Alright, and last this is going to be the upstairs. Smallest of the three bedrooms. Drywall up here. Just plaster on the main floor. Closet. Another good sized bedroom. Has a closet as well. Drywall is in pretty good shape. I think it's drywall up here almost. Yeah, it is. And then the last bedroom, good size. Has a closet. And this is what goes out to the deck, right? Or that room? Which one? This goes out to the porch. Which right now the floor is just roofing material. And like I showed you, um, in the sun room downstairs, it looks like some of it's leaked through just a little bit. Nothing, the water damage isn't too bad. This could be definitely turned into a nice porch. And you can see the back of the roof from over here. Slate looks in pretty good shape. Um, and I think the last thing is the full bath on this level. And the full bath. Good sized bathroom. I don't know if we use this kind of tile, but it's in pretty good shape. Tub's in good shape. Toilet's in good shape. The cabinets after a little bit of cleanup are in pretty good shape. And I believe the copper coming and the plumbing coming through here is galvanized actually, so it switches up throughout the house.